He lives over there with Grandma. Um, and he goes to college. Anyways, and then I have my 13-year-old, which has a 4.0 GPA. And I'm very, very proud of her. And she got a scholarship to go to a private high school for this year coming. And then I have my 16-year-old, who's very bright also. And um, she is, how can I say, her calling in life, she's already figured out. She's figured this out since she was tiny, and she wants to be a vet. What she wants to do is, because dad's a business owner and mom's a business owner. I'm a business owner, and she sees that. It's, it's reachable. We can do it. Anybody can do it. Not anybody, but if you put your mind to it, you can do it. So dad's a business owner. And I'm a business owner, and what she wants to do is open her own veterinary clinic for low income. We have been in pretty bad situations at one time in our lives while she was born, and she has very clear memory of what mom and dad have been through in the past, which... I'm going to say it, I'll go through it again because the growth and the learning experience of what we have been through and who are who's your true family member, who's your true friends, really come, come in a clear picture. It really, really does. And some people say that you can't choose who your family members are. That's true. And some people say you could choose your friends that's very true but I do believe that even though you can't choose your family members you can make a choice to stay away from them if they're negative negative. and I have chosen to do that with a lot of family member that's why I say on my videos I have a very small family as a matter of fact, if you haven't seen that video, I will tell you now. I have a family of myself, my two kids, my three kids, um, my husband, and my dogs. That's all that exists in my family. That's all. We're done. That's it. That's my existing family to me. I do have a mom. They do have a grandma. I've chosen to block that out. I do have two sisters, blood sisters, but that's just because my mom had them and they're considered my sisters. Nah. Anyways, so very negative people I've chosen. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I am a wonderful person. I love myself. People love me. Um, sorry, I heard one of the kids coming. Um, yeah, I definitely know 100, 110-120% that I did nothing wrong. Nothing. But they did. So I chose to stay away from them. Anyways. What was my point? Oh, my daughter. Hang on a second. Let me turn this around. Oh, yeah, you see that detail? I really hope that's going to come through. I'm going to squeeze that to make sure it comes through. Excuse me. Anyways, her life calling is to be a vet and to have a... That's how we got thrown off to the subject. Anyways, she's going to be a vet and she wants to open a clinic. 
her own clinic um, to help out families that are low income and have pets and they love their pets they hate to see their pets suffering and they're in a bad situation with their pet and they can't afford to get the pet it's the medical needs we've been there we've lost animals because of no funds and uh, that's hurt us and at the same time it's hurt us because we love them so much we love those animals so much that's why it hurts so much anyways um, that quote was said to me by L. L is for living she has a YouTube channel and she made it clear to me and it, it and it stuck out there when she told me that um, it hurts so much when we lose an animal or a loved one because because of the love that we had for them and that is true anyways I'm ripping more toilet paper here so she wants to open a clinic for to help families in need that have pets and that are low income and I, that's wonderful but anyways we have a cricket in our kitchen in an egg carton box an egg carton because one of our dogs found the cricket in the garden and you know it's dog instinct animal instinct uh, her name is Miko our dog she picked it up she brought it in the house and she started rolling her body on top of it to put her scent on that cricket and of course it's a fragile little cricket actually it's pretty big it's like this it looks like it's been around for years and my daughter and I ran into the living room to see why the dog was making so much noise because we have hard wood, hard wood floors in our living room Sorry, one of the dogs is trying to come in. Um, and yeah, the do uh, our dog Miko was rolling her body on the poor little cricket. And my daughter decides that we're going to try our hardest to help the cricket out. And yeah, it's been since... What's today? Today is Thursday. And we've had it since Wednesday since Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and he's doing not so well. A few times we almost buried him alive because he looked like he, he didn't make it. And as soon as my daughter had the hole dug and picked it up and ready to put it down, the cricket moves or he moves one of his little antennas and we're like, oh, he's not dead. Oh, my God. Thank God we didn't bury him, but that's happened about three times already. So hopefully the cricket makes it, but um, yeah, it's a learning experience for my daughter. She has such a heart, and that is her passion. So yeah, got a cricket in my kitchen. I don't know if you can hear in the background, there's a million crickets in my yard. <laughs> Sometimes we even get frogs. Um, I have, or I don't, and it's not mine, but sometimes I'm outside. Uh, 11 o'clock at night sometimes, just chilling outside. Kids are asleep. And... A white owl always flies above me and he's white and I've heard that white owls belong in the snowy area I don't have no snowy area 
too close to me. It's probably an hour away. I live in the city. And yeah, it's almost every night that I see him. These are going to be fun to use on a mixed media front cover. Would be cute if I um, had a drawing or drew a dog and then put a mustache. That would be cute. So let's see, I'm pushing that in. And these I will take out now so you guys can see. I'm going to give that one a little bit more toilet paper. Popping that out. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to pop out as well as the rubbery mold ones did. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to stick that back in and make sure it picks up more. That's how that came out. Pretty cool. And let's take this one out. <laughs> oh. There we go. And there you go. So that's that's what I'm doing here. And um, my next video is going to be on my... Oh, here's another mustache I'll pop out while talking. I'm going to put up right now. Or actually record myself doing my faux enamel flowers. Because... Um, simply for the fact that I noticed and it's been brought to my attention that I don't describe very well step by step how to do it so I'm gonna do that definitely so I'll be doing that on the next video which I might as well do this while these are drying <laughs> that flung on over there and there we have that mustache. Too cute. 
Look at this. Not heavy at all. So, those are all of them. Oh, here's the butterfly we did earlier. There's the owl we did earlier. And I'm setting those aside. And again, make sure you go watch Eileen. I am going to link her. And this was a long video, but I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, talk to you soon on my next video. Um, hopefully you subscribe because I have new videos coming up often. Uh, what else? And pl please leave a comment and a kind comment. And I'll leave you a kind comment back. Bye-bye, guys.